two, three. This is my Parkinson Vapor, which I have flown many times. In fact, I've had to retire it because I crashed it so much. And if, if the um, indoor flying where you fly is the same as here, uh, we, we take turns flying helicopters and airplanes. So, so when it's time for the airplanes to fly, you'll see a whole bunch of them taking off at the same time because everybody wants to make the most of their flying time. And two years ago, the vapors were really popular. So it's not unusual to see half a dozen vapors take off at the same time. And of course, mine will be one of them. And uh, I started noticing something really odd. What, what I noticed is that my vapor was always the last one to land. And by that, I mean it was the last one to, for the, ba the battery power to run out. And these were otherwise identical vapors. Uh, we all had the same battery, the same motor. This is before all the third party batteries came onto the market, so there was really only, there was no choice, everybody was using the same battery. And I couldn't figure it out because as far as I knew, just watching the airplanes fly, I was flying the same as everybody else, so you know, why should my battery last longer? And then I realized that uh, what was going on is that they were flying a lot faster than me, I guess on, on average. And I, it still, it, it wasn't keeping me from doing the loops and the maneuvers that they were doing, but I was just going more slowly. And if you study airfoils and wings and all of that, you, you learn that airfoils, most of them, tend to be most efficient at an angle of attack of about 4 degrees. And, and by efficient, I'm talking about lowest drag in proportion to the highest amount of lift. So it's what, you know, what, what people call the lift to drag ratio. And it, it, you know, if an airplane is at zero degrees when, when it's horizontal, uh, a thin airfoil wing like this one might stall at, at about, I don't know, maybe 10 degrees. So, so I'm talking about halfway between horizontal and stall speed, you know, that's a way of visualizing it. And, you know, of course, full-size airplanes uh, care very much about the, the, uh, the best cruise angle of attack because they're trying to get somewhere and that, that tends to be the best endurance uh, speed. And uh, for a model airplane, yeah, we don't really care about getting anywhere, but we do care about being able to fly for a long time. But uh, I think much more importantly is that we, we should be caring about how the airplane looks when it's in the air. And a lot of the time, uh, in fact, most of the time, I see model airplanes just tearing through the air uh, and you know it, re it flies more like a rocket than, than a model airplane. So the, any direction that you point it, it just goes. So it's not you know what, what do you need the wing for? You know it's like you're not even really using it. You know you can just point it straight up and it goes straight up. And you know it, it, it doesn't look like an airplane to me. And and to me th there's there's a lot of beauty in, in in watching an airplane fly, for that matter birds fly. And in order to really enjoy that, you have to let the airplane do what it's designed to do, which is fly the wing. Um, and um, you know, you, you might you might learn that uh, airplanes just—I mean—they're very graceful, and uh, you know, there's there's just a lot of, of joy, and, and in fact, they might even open up an envelope of, of maneuvers that you couldn't do because you're just staring through the sky like a rocket. So. You know, try flying around at different speeds. You know, so, sometimes I have folks tell me, oh, I just fly at 75% throttle. That doesn't mean anything. Uh, that's just a, a side effect of the transmitter programming and the speed control settings. So that, that does, you know, don't pay attention to that. So try different throttle settings. Of course, you know, if, if the airplane is hanging on the prop, that's too slow. But if it's tearing through, tearing through the sky, that's too fast, and you really need to find a happy medium. And if, if you wanted to do a loop, and you need to dive so you can do that loop. I don't see anything wrong with that, but in fact, that, that may be a good sign that you're flying at a good speed. So, something to think about, something to uh, that might expand the enjoyment that you get from Ballard Airplanes, and until uh, next time.